From the day he was born, Josh and Brittany Linger have shared their love of music with their son Jackson. But it was something that happened even before he was born that nearly cost him his life. Years ago, the Lingers got a free sample of guitar polish like this. Josh used it once, put it in a drawer, and forgot about it. Until one day, Jackson found it and in mere seconds opened it. He had somehow got the lid off and had swallowed it. And I didn't know how much because it was all over the floor, all over the desk. Jackson would spend three weeks in the hospital, but doctors say swallowing Following the cleaner wasn't the problem, it was inhaling the chemicals in it, known as hydrocarbons. These things evaporate, and that's part of the danger, is a child will place that in their mouth, and even if they don't intend to swallow it, it turns into a gas and it goes into their lungs, and that's when it causes the big problem. The result is a chemical burn on the lungs, and it happens more than you might think. A new study by researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital shows that between 2000 and 2009, more than 100,000 injuries were reported in children due to hydrocarbons. That's more than an injury an hour. Simply put, hydrocarbons are liquids that evaporate when poured out. They're often found in household cleaning products, but many kids are injured during warm weather months when things like gas cans and lighter fluid are more easily accessible. More of these cases occurred in the summer months, so the change of seasons is a really good time for parents to sort of take stock and evaluate what kind of products they have and how they're stored. That's advice Brittany takes to heart. She now keeps all chemicals under lock and key, thankful her son made a full recovery. They call him the miracle baby around the hospital. So he did better than anyone expected. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.